If your organization relies on malware sandboxing to prevent breaches, you might not be as protected as you think. Sandbox appliances detonate suspicious inbound malware files in a virtual environment to keep the network safe. That sounds good, right? If only malware weren't polymorphic, it might be all you need. But that's not the case. Advanced threat actors are cunning and persistent. They change their malware to evade detection. There are five ways malware evades sandboxing. 1. Visibility. The sandbox must see executable files come through the front door of the network. But threat actors can encrypt their code so the sandbox won't see the files execute. Or a user may download malware off the corporate network. When they reconnect, the sandbox will never see it. 2. Windows OS. Sandboxes primarily analyze Windows files. Malware, written for Apple and other operating systems, won't be recognized. 3. Behaviors. Malware can sniff out if it's in a sandbox or a real environment. If sandbox behavior is detected, the malware acts benign, or it goes to sleep and waits for the virtual sandbox session to end before executing. 4. Communications. Communications to command and control servers give malware away. So threat actors use random, one-time-use domains or non-HTTP protocols to evade sandbox detection. 5. Multi-stage downloads. Sandboxes will usually catch a malware dropper file downloading. Responders will clean it up and think all is well. But the dropper may download files in stages, so the device is compromised without the security team's knowledge. Finally, a sandbox inherently has one unavoidable shortfall. It only observes a file being delivered to a device. It can't determine if the device actually becomes infected. Maybe antivirus blocked the file. Or a savvy user didn't click a malicious link or attachment. The sandbox fires alerts even though malware didn't install on the device. Those false positive alerts send security teams on a wild goose chase. Stop the noise. Instead of noisy alerts, Dambala Failsafe issues a definitive verdict when a device is infected. Along with sandboxing, Failsafe automatically profiles network behavior, analyzes payload files, and applies threat intelligence. These multiple detection techniques help us prove infection beyond a reasonable doubt. Incident responders receive all the facts so they can act immediately to prevent damage. Learn how Dambala fills the gap between failed prevention and incident response at dambala.com and bring peace and quiet back to your network. <laughs>